Hello there, this is the fifth episode of why should we find intelligence so attractive and more importantly, why is the research on intelligence so attractive, which it is. So today I'm going to be talking about another theory of intelligence, which was brought to us in 1990 very recently by Robert Sternberg. I don't know whether this is included in the B. Ed. course at the moment. If it is, it's great. And do let me know if it is. And you could probably put that into your comment section. Uh, so this is the fifth episode of ideas on intelligence, as well as what people have been doing to understand the way intelligence really grows and how can we therefore develop it in our students. That's my that's my actually goal to help all of us learn together that there could be a variety of ways in developing intelligence, not just high marks and not just in maths and science. <laughs> OK, so I'm bringing this to you in case you missed the earlier episodes, you could go back and check there are four earlier episodes. This is the fifth one, but if you can't, never mind. We've talked about Alfred Binet's IQ, Daniel Goldman's EQ. We've talked about Harvard Gardner's MI in the third episode. And we have talked about Raymond Cattell's idea of crystallized intelligence and fluid intelligence in the fourth episode. And this one is the fifth episode. Okay, And there will be just one more and that will bring the queen of it all, Carol Dweck, to you. Okay, So he talks about, Robert Sternberg talks about, a triarchic theory of intelligence. He says there could be a creative intelligence, there can be an analytical intelligence, and there can be a practical intelligence. So how do I develop this? So I thought that I'll just build a story for you and it becomes easy to understand through stories, right? We all like to learn through stories and that's the way our brains remember and recall for a long time. So here is a tale that, that Sternberg, that, that can illustrate the idea that Sternberg brings to us. So here was a young girl and she decided to go to a new city where she had gone. She had an old friend in that new city and they had already made a tryst to meet for coffee. Okay, but what happens is that she loses her phone. And today we have our entire life on that phone. So she loses the phone. She doesn't have the number of the friend written anywhere and she panics. Now her intelligence kicks in. All right. So she says, let me just explore this town. Doesn't matter. I'll explore it and I'll try to think. So she's thinking, and I'm wondering what you are thinking, what kind of intelligence was she utilizing right now? And it was creative. Ability to see a problem in a different way, not really freeze with the problem, not get your, not let your amygdala get hijacked. And now I don't know what to do, I've lost my phone. She says, let me see whether I can think about something else. So she moves it up. And suddenly she says, oh my God, she remembers that she and her friend actually liked just filter coffee and nothing more than that. So analytical, ability to solve a problem based on parts. There is a problem, I've lost the phone, I've got to meet my friend for coffee, but now I remember it is filter coffee. So she's narrowing down her search, right? She might start, you must be thinking that, oh, I think that's what she'll do next, probably look for a place for filter coffee. Exactly, that's what she does. She hails a taxi. She also remembers by that time, because of her analytical intelligence, that it was not just coffee that they liked filter, but they also liked to go to a place which had a bookshop and a coffee counter together. So she asked the taxi that, can you please take me to a coffee, a cafe which has a bookshop as well as filter coffee? And he said, wow, this girl is smart. So that's practical intelligence. Ability to see some relationships in all the broken parts. And she also therefore applies them. So what Sternberg presents to us is street smartness, practical intelligence, analytical intelligence, creative intelligence, okay? Not just book smart, but also street smart. That's the fifth idea of intelligence that I brought to you from Shik Changan. And if you're liking, I hope you are, okay? If you are also, please some, put down some comments so that I like to see what you're saying and what you're watching. Um, and there is going to be the sixth episode coming up shortly which will bring you Carol Dweck. Meanwhile, do subscribe. Thank you.